Today at Mass, we will conclude our reading of the sixth chapter of John's Gospel. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer. And as you know, for the past few weeks, we've been following Jesus' teaching about the Eucharist. Remember? Jesus called himself the bread of life and said that the bread he is giving is his flesh for the life of the world. And he said that unless we eat his flesh and drink his blood, we will not have life. And remember, some of his followers rejected him over this teaching. They asked, this saying is hard, who can accept it? And then the gospel says that as a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus could have stopped them. He could have toned down his teaching and made it easier to swallow. He could have said, look, I'm speaking poetically and symbolically, don't take me so literally. But he didn't. He let them leave. That's because Jesus was telling the truth. He who told Pilate as he was about to be sentenced to death by crucifixion that he had come to witness to the truth wasn't about to water it down. Do you believe, as Peter said he and the disciples did, that Jesus is the Holy One of God and that he can change bread and wine into his body and blood? in order to unite himself to you 